Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Rodeo Time. Well, I don't know what this is. Rodeo Time, Dale Brisby reacts. Rodeo Time reacts. We haven't talked about it, but it's me basically breaking down. Be careful, Donnie. Walk much? <laughs> uh, breaking down anything. We did it last week with Jordan in Rodeo Rex, and today we're going to do it with some 90-point bull rides. Why? I'm the 90-point legend. I'm Dale Brisby. Also... I'm so honest you can shoot dice with me over the phone. So I'm going to tell you like it is. Dale, you've told that joke before. Yes, I have. Many times. To your mom. And she laughs every time. <laughs> Let's break it down. Fourth of July run is uh, still going on. We're on the tail end of it. Fourth of July was on Monday. And um, so here we are a few days after that. And um, you could still be out on the road going to plenty of rodeos if you're hungry for it. These gentlemen are. Now... Jeff Askey versus, versus Twister. It's a Pete Carbull, and he's at Pecos. Not pronounced Pecos, Cole Snyder and everyone else that visits this state. It's Pecos. All right. We're at the west of the Pecos rodeo. Jeff Askey, Pete Carr, Twister. Here we go. Hit play. Hit play. Hit play. There it goes. Yeah, boy. Somebody says, yeah, boy. I think they got that from me. Yeah, boy, cowboy. This is into his hand, around to the right. Uh, he's got a strong uh, handshake. It's because he's a right-handed bull rider. Great start. Very consistent. The bull stays in it. All right? Now, let's back it up. What could he have done here to be even more points? Now, I'm going to say, you see how whenever this bull is turning back to the right, you want to keep... 60-40. You want to keep a little more weight on that inside leg. I don't know the exact percentage because I'm not great at math. I went to third grade. I learned what 22 plus 23, 22 plus 23, 45, 45, 92 points was. That's all I needed to know. I was on to the next one. However, percentages, a little bit more weight on the inside leg. And that'll lighten up your outside foot. So when you see a bull rider spurring, it's with the outside foot. Now, the reason I'm the 90-point legend is because of my nickname they gave me when I was down in Mexico spurring bulls, and that is Dos Zapatas. You know what that means? Two feet. Because I can spur with both feet. That's right. I can spur into the well. And so I backed it up, slowing it down. Man, and I mean the bittersweet end. He, he spurs him right to that eight seconds, not a second more. Gives us a little pump, little pump in the air, fist pump. Um, number five in the world. Jeff Askey is on fire right now. 90.5. Wow. Yeah. So I would say if he did the old Dale Brisby dos zapatas, you're looking at a 92 all day. So um, that's just a, a little smidge of something to think about, Jeff. So um, <clears throat> and you're just not going to see that move very often. It is an old veteran move. Uh, which which Jeff is, and, and so I'm surprised he doesn't pull that out here. But this was early in the 4th of July run, okay? So he's going to maybe save some of that as he goes. Nonetheless, he's in the 90-point club. Jeff, we have for you here some Dale Ware, a free cap for your 90.5 ride, all right? Um, it is right here, riding bulls and punching fools. That's for you, Jeff. Um, that's not including shipping, so you can either come pick it up or you can Venmo me eight bucks. Well, probably nine with inflation and diesel price. Yeah. Venmo me nine bucks. It's your cap. 90 point club. Moving on. Who's next? We've had a lot of 90 point rides. You know, this looks like Shane Proctor, and it is Shane Proctor versus a Ditch. Is that what that was? Into his hand. Another right handed bull rider going into his hand. A lot of jump, kick. And uh, he's spurring big time. And what I believe is going on here, so you got to be, you got to, um, how did that Australian say it? Lance Kelly. Catch another gear, mate. That's what he said. Catch another gear, mate. Hold on loosely. And um, so, so basically, you got to be moving. Even in the bull riding, you can't just hold on, muscle up, and you're riding bulls and punching fools, Okay. Some of those Brazilians, they pull it off. Not sure how, but that's why their their uh, biceps are so large. However, for most of us, 
you got to catch another gear, mate. Meaning like you're constantly shuffling. All right, now you got to catch another gear and get up there. And the way that some guys do it, like our man Shane Proctor here, he is spurring. So let's that foot come back a little bit as he's making that round. You grab that old foot, you hustle it back to your bull rope in the form of a spur stroke and a thump. Thump. Great job, Shane Proctor. Shane is uh, bald as the day is long, and um, he's recently a, a new dad. So congratulations. Got married. I warned him not to just because, I don't know, having one woman is like having one song on your playlist. You know what I'm saying? And that's just not necessarily my style. I like to hit next every now and then. I'm on to the next one. Uh, Shane is 90. He's a smooth 90 in his red shirt and his bald head. Great ride, Shane. Love to see you out there making making moves. Good friends with JB. Good friends with me. Those are two good friends to have and probably the reason he's in the 90-point club, to be honest. Brady Portnier versus Glory Days of Frontier Rodeo. Uh, this is in Oakley. Oh, and by the way... Um, Shane, no, no, no. Shane was in Oakley. Excuse me. Brady was in uh, Cody, Cody, Wyoming. Big Fourth of July rodeo. And then they have rodeos all summer. So I've had some buddies go up there. I never made it there, but um, just not enough added for Dale Brisby. But there's a lot of guys that stop in at Cody, uh, Maury Tate, and um, great, great arena. Let's see what. Brady gets done on glory days. Frontier, they got a lot of uh they got a lot of great bucking bulls, got a lot of great horses. Uh old school cowboy in his cowboy hat. American straw hat on the, I think it's American. Let's back it up. Great bull ride, great mustache. All right. When you nod for your bull with me and this mustache, you're 90 already. Again, into his hand. He is, he is cranking that free arm. He's bringing it right back to home base every jump, every every step of the way. I'm going to guess this one right here is somewhere in the 92-point range. So I've not seen the screen. I didn't accidentally fast forward a second ago to see that. Oh, look, 92.5. That's just my bull rider wisdom, my bull rider IQ that told you that one. Great job, Brady, 92.5. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to a 93 in the Dale Brisby book, all because of this mustache. Let's go ahead and put his Instagram on here. Let's Y'all go check out this. I'm sure you, you can see it in the video. It's a little bit of pixelated. However, um, go to his Instagram and check out this glorious mustache. Great job in uh, going 92 it there in, in uh, Cody. Again, we've got a cap for you, some Dale wear, right here in the Dale warehouse. You're going to have to stop by uh, maybe... Enjoy a podcast with us and uh, pick up your Dale wear for being in the 90-point club. Oh, Dale, you are so generous. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a giver. J.B. Mooney versus Bushwhacker. Hey, is J.B. retired? No. He just got on Bushwhacker this 4th of July. So, here we go. Where is this? Where did he do this? Tulsa. A lot of jump. A lot of kick, um, a lot of front end. He's got everything. I'm going to back it up to where he's about to nod. JB's a left-handed bull rider. Most of the greats are, like your boy. This bull um, acts like he's going to the right, then back to the left. Doesn't really make a full round either way until the very end. Like he's just so rank out of there. Um, he has everything. Bushwhacker does. A lot of front end. Um, most bull riders on Bushwhacker, what you're going to need to do is uh, set your set your rope back. Okay? Back in the truck. So, JB handles him here just like he and I do all the time. Ooh, he just, that's never quit. That's what that is. That is a never quit bull rider um, right there in Tulsa. And he's 94, 95 and a quarter. Hey, don't short him. This is Bushwhacker. And he just rode him 4th of July, 2022 in Tulsa. So 
We're going to fact check the date, yeah. but give or take, <laughs> give or take somewhere in there. Our man, uh, uh, JB is uh, alive and well and still rodeoing. Yes, he is still rodeoing. He has not retired. He just spurred Bushwhacker very recently. So uh, those are the tapes. Those are the 90 point club um, <clears throat> club members, new inductees. new inductees as of this last 4th of July run. And some of these got, you know, Shane. Obviously, JB, a lot of these guys have been 90 before, but it's just, was Dale there to see it, verify it, induct you into the club, the 90-point club, and now I am. So um, th those are those are your first four um, inductees. Jeff Askey, Brady Portnier, Shane Proctor, and JB Mooney, and also myself. Yeah, and, and how you can get into the 90-point club is uh, there's a couple of ways. Number one, you can go 90 points at a rodeo. Number two, you can spend $90 on DaleBrisby.com. Right now, surf on over. We've got some new Dale wear. The shirt I'm wearing, the cap I'm wearing, the one that I'm giving away to each each inductee, riding bulls and punching fools, that they're going to have to come pick up, even you, JB. Swing on by the house. Um, and I've been texting you, by the way, did JB change his number? He may have changed his number. And he just forgot to send out that mass text. I haven't talked to him. It's been about three or four months, and I'm starting to worry. But he did. He sent me this video. Did he send this to me, or did we screen record it off the internet? Slid into our DMs this morning. Okay, we, we screen recorded yeah. it, didn't we? Yeah, he didn't send it to me. Yeah, because uh, sure, he didn't block. No, he didn't. Yeah. So if anybody's out there, if JB's got a new phone number or you see JB, tell him to text me. Haven't heard from him in a while, and I've got a cap for him because he's now in the 90-point club um, who is uh, ran, opter, uh, owned, and operated by Dale Brisby, none other. I mean, who else is going to do it? There's probably a lot of people that could handle it, but I am, all right? So get in the 90-point club. Get yourself some Dale wear. Check out DaleBrisby.com. Otherwise, you ain't no cowboy, old son. I'm Dale Brisby, and I'm on to the next one.